Corky adjusted his steel cod piece, flexed his well-sculpted glutes, and prepared for the biggest battle of his life with Mags the Mosquizo. But what he didn't know was that she had just given birth to 12,000 baby Mosquizos! <laughs> Disengage, Dinger Knots. We don't shoot mothers in space. Dinger. Everyone, you're in for a treat. Meet my coworker, Mads, the inspiration for the evil overlord, Mags the Mosquizo. Ooh. It really does look like she had 12,000 babies. This is America, land of dreams. Everyone can climb higher. You're stuck here. You're part timer. Yeah. You can do anything. As long as it's not hard. And you can go anywhere. As soon as you get a car. You're gonna be a huge success. Come on, that's not who you are. You're a part timer, cursed with full time dreams. fan fiction is really good. You're only saying that because he gave Porky a huge wang. No, because he nailed me perfectly. Down to the huge wang. Well, you're the only one he nailed. Ella has a third boob that shoots lasers from the nipple. Yeah. Irma Garden her third are intergalactic bounty hunters. I need that tip. So it's just me that he got wrong. Nags? A giant mosquito overlord? My character's a little off too. You're an anxiety-ridden robotic caterpillar with an android butterfly growing inside you. It's a euphemism for puberty. Crap. You nailed it. Push from your core. Tighten your butthole. Now stop! <clears throat> Pete, this new parking spot is gonna shave a full 35 seconds off my work walk. And you know what I always say, right? No. A, B, C, T. Always be cutting time. Roger that. You know what you get when you cut time, right? No. You create time. And with that time, take it, lock it away for the future. You know what this spot needs? Some class. You know that guy that owns that nightclub down the street? He can give us a killer deal on some velvet rope. Velvet rope? Oh, you hear that? Oh, that's time slipping away, slipping away, slipping away. Come on, Pete. I feel my life slipping away. What the? Anton, we ain't got time for that. This is created time, Lori. This time doesn't even exist yet. OK, great. Well, I'll be at the Korean spa for about five hours. Don't call me. I'll just be enjoying my new executive parking spot. It's going to look so good with the velvet rope. So in conclusion, the conversion rate is 17 gravitons to one Uncle Sam. Great question. I have a question. You, shorty in the front. <clears throat> I just feel like in your description of Naz the Mosquizo, there's an overlooked core of helpfulness and efficiency that is missing from your description and makes her feel perhaps unseen. So, what's your question? Why does my character suck? Oh, because she needs blood to survive. Exorkly! <laughs> Dang or not, you're in for a treat! The showstopper of the tour! Take five and I'll be back in a nanogif. And remember to hold on to your nuts because they're about to be blown into space! Oh, back off! And sit down, God! Stand up! Sit down! Clean that table. Bag of snacks! We can take it! We love it! We would not be so unwise as to deny the command of the most feared overlord in all the land. Way to commit, Jeff. OK. Well, when you're finished with the tables, you can degrease all the joysticks. And you can unclog all the holes in the air hockey table. Ah, there is so much to get done. Now this is how you A-B-E, always be executivizing. I'll write that down. Initiativizing, I like it. I know! Cool spot, right? <laughs> Sir, 
We need you to move your vehicle so we can get to the dumpster. Oh, uh, actually new thing. I'm gonna need you to come around my spot at a 45 degree angle, then about face to the left. We're not pulling into the lot. We have got stuck back there before. Also, we don't have to, union rules. Oh, the union. We'll do you a favor and we'll come back at the end of our route. Just put the dumpster back, okay? Quick tip, Pete. The union is code for grease the wheels, and grease the wheels is code for bribe me. Clean deeper, harder. Dig your nuts. May I introduce to you the master of his craft, the lord of deep space, the savior of the known universe, and our god, the pork E. Pine. Are you guys ready to rock anti-gravity style? Not this time, Schwartzman. Uh. Come on up for a group picture. Halt! Where do you think you're going? There's still gum underneath half these tables. Keep cleaning. What have you done with my people? These are my people now. And as you said in Pork Apocalypto, Chapter 8, there's no loyalty in space. Ah! Hoisted by my own petard! <laughs> They're coming! Make sure they can really see the soap. You didn't give me a walkie-talkie. Hide, Pete. Hide. Take it. Take it. Up. What'd you say? Toss it! You know, this is a valuable lesson, Pete. Some men can't be bought, and some unions can't be defeated. Always be knowing when to hold them, and when to fold them. Fold them. We're taking our payment. You're not stealing our balls. Balls? These are gravitons. And we had a contract. No, we didn't. Episode 1, Section 3, the contract states- OK, this is real life. You do not steal balls from kids, you ding or not. Plus, you do not want to take these home. You know how many times we've cleaned these balls? Never. No time. But we worked hard for these gravitons. Well, you're not taking them. The Bisquizo has shown her true form! Just like she did before the fall of the Laser Locust! We'll succeed where the Laser Locust failed! Let the rebellion begin! Dinger! Your idiot fans are robbing us! It's the uprising. Have they taken any hostages? You aren't leaving until you crap out a butterfly! I hate, 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 hate to admit this, but I think we're gonna need to work together. Nags and Bisquizo joining forces are good. Interesting plot twist. Would you swear allegiance to me? As Nags the Mosquizo, I declare that you may keep all the gravitons you have rightfully earned. But as VIP Dinger Nuts, you now have the opportunity to purchase passes to see the last feature of our tour, Irma Gerd and her third. Wait, the whole thing or just the nipple? All of it, for all of your gravitons. Deal. Thank God. Hand over the balls. Welcome. Come closer and I will reveal the third to you. Help! 
Puberty's a bitch. Hey guys, if you enjoyed seeing some of our friends from Smosh Games in the Warp Zone in this episode, give this video a little thumbs up. If you want to keep watching Part Timers, click the box on the left to watch the previous episode, or the box on the right to find out what happens next. You're much more attractive when you're not talking. You just tell me that now? What the f Or click the box in the middle to check out this deleted scene where Pete accidentally sees Mad boobs. Oh my god. And like always, if you're watching this episode on a phone or tablet, all the links are in the description box below.